Hello church, welcome to an extraordinary team talk in which I want to come and plead with you and urge you to pray for our country today. And so it doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize that as a nation we've been going through something of a tough time for some time. And so whether it's the wet and cold weather of the last few weeks or the high unemployment rates or the prevalence of poverty or the COVID pandemic or the state of economy of the economy, we all know that we've been going through some tough times of late. But in the last few days, we've seen a whole bunch of, of, of riots popping up in KZN, which started out as objections to Zuma's arrest. But, but in the last few days, that, that has grown. It's grown as it's evolved from rioting to looting. It's grown as it's spread to different parts of the country. It's grown as it's escalated in the sheer scale of what's going on. And as I come and I look at what's going on on social media and what's been reported through the news, uh, it feels to me like we're at a crossroads as a nation, that that how we respond in the next 24 hours, in the next seven days is going to be crucial to where we end up for our long term future. Uh, and, and so when I come and I consider this, it feels to me and I could be wrong, but but Zuma being arrested is simply a spark to the underlying kindling that's always been there, that there is a huge portion of our nation, of the people of this country who are suffering and who are battling, who are hungry and who are poor. And and this little spark has simply come and lit them and set them ablaze. And so what we don't need is more people coming and pointing fingers and blaming. I once heard it said that he who casts mud is the first one to lose ground. And, and what we don't need is more people pointing fingers. What we need is more people taking responsibility. And so whether it's directly or indirectly that you've been involved in the mess that we find ourselves in, we need more people to make to take responsibility and to come and make amends for what's going on. And even if you don't feel like you've been indirectly involved in the mess of, of, of what's going on more broadly, there is a responsibility that is upon you as a citizen of this country to come and to add value. And one of the ways that you can do that is to come and to be in prayer in this time. Please know that your prayer isn't to a little wooden God hidden away in a cupboard, but your prayers are to the mighty God who called creation into existence. And there uh, are three things that I'd like to call us to come and to pray into now that could make a big difference. And the first is this, for us to pray for our president and for the leadership team that needs to come and navigate the this incredibly complex situation. They are going to need much wisdom. God, will you give them wisdom and secondly, for those who would come and use the unrest for ungodly and evil ends and means, won't you come, God, and sow confusion into their ranks and, and cause their agendas to, to fall apart along the way? Can you come and, and cause uh, what they're doing to be null and void? And thirdly, for those who are really suffering in our country, Lord, in the midst of what's happening here, there is an opportunity for good to come. And that good is for adjustments and amendments to, make, to be made within this country, whether it's in government or legislation or whether it's in people like you and I, where we come and we make amends, where we come and make a practical difference that, that, that changes something for those out there that are really battling and suffering won't you come and bring good from this god and so and so you need to can i urge you to come and take responsibility and add value as a citizen of this country and also if you are a believer as a citizen of heaven to come and to pray into this situation so join us as we pray for our country god bless you all